Hey guys, BTR Plumbing here, and today I'm here with one of two of my newly acquired 1992 Kohler Kingston Water Guard toilets. So, believe it or not, the seat on this was so stuck, it took me almost half an hour to get it off. I literally had to use a socket and a long, like, leverage bar to be able to get the seat off, but I finally did. And uh, just to show y'all kind of what this toilet looked like before I cleaned it, I will show y'all the other one. But um, I rescued these from an abandoned elementary school. There's plenty more, but at the time I only had room for two of these. So uh, along with, I got a 1992 Kohler primary as well, which is awesome. And I'm pretty sure the only other person in the community to have one of these is KDMC Plumbing. As y'all can see, this one looks really good. After I cleaned it up, I didn't even give it an acid bath. I just wiped it down with a rag and scrubbed it with the pumice stone but here is what it looks like before i cleaned it all up so here again they're in similar shape they were both just as dirty when i got them so after about 30 minutes of cleaning and stuff i got it looking almost brand new again it's not perfect but i got a majority of all the gunk and stuff and the porcelain is actually very glossy and shiny but i have been wanting one of these toilets for as long as i can remember I remember seeing them as a little kid at a place called Omzi. It was full of these along with um, older Jetbrook urinals, but or not Jetbrook, what are they, Kohler Dairies. So this is on the Sloan Regal and, uh, yeah, Sloan Regal, and it's got a 3.5 diaphragm in there. The pressure's turned all the way up, and honestly, it's too powerful. So after the first two flushes, I'm going to turn it down so it doesn't splash everywhere. But I'm going to go ahead and lock focus my screen. And here is a flush. Pressure turned all the way up. Now that was extremely powerful and it actually kind of splashed over the rim. So, and because of the high pressure, I think that's why the water's cloudy because there's a bunch of like millions of tiny little air bubbles. So once the uh, water clears up a little bit and it doesn't look so milky. I'll go ahead and give it one more flush and then I'm gonna turn down the pressure just a little bit. That way it doesn't splash everywhere. But another thing I love about this toilet is not only is it a front fed siphon jet wall hung toilet, it also uh, siphons at the end of the flush, which I find really awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and do another flush from this angle. And it is a little bit dirty up at the rim there. I didn't have enough pumice stone left to scrub that out, but. Here is another flush. Again, in my opinion, this uh, toilet has an incredible flush and this is actually my favorite generation of Kohler Kingston. So, and I'm very happy to finally have one, let alone two, so. I just turned down the pressure quite a bit, not a whole lot, but enough to where it shouldn't splash everywhere. So I'm not even gonna wait for the water to get uncloudy. I'm just gonna go ahead and flush it. So here we go. Much better. And actually, I think I turned it down a little too much. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a small turn just like that sorry it wasn't focused but now that i turned up the pressure just a little bit more i'm gonna go ahead and give it another flush so here we go much better so now i'm gonna go ahead and turn the flushometer off so i can put the 1.6 on and I kind of have to push this thing in kind of hard. Like the flush is going to be super weak now. It's, it might siphon, honestly. I don't know. It might not have enough pressure. Oh, yep. There it goes. Awesome. So that might be how it would flush on a tank or it will basically not siphon. I'm pretty sure not like several years ago, Lil Cinnamon, actually uh, tested one of these on a gravity fed tank and I believe it siphoned 
Uh, I definitely want to test that out because I want to see whether it works or not. But um, let me go ahead and take this piece off at the top here. Again, I'm trying to do this with one hand. So actually, I'm going to have my friend hold the phone for me. Okay, y'all, I am back. I apologize for that. As I was handing it to my friend, I accidentally pressed the volume button on my phone, which caused it to stop the video. So instead of refilming the whole thing, I'm just gonna go ahead and resume it from here. I now have the 1.6 diaphragm installed. Again, water pressure is off. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this and turn up the pressure. It's gonna flush for a little bit, let water trickle in. Is it gonna siphon? Barely, so. Believe it or not, this toilet actually flushes very well on 1.6. It doesn't gurgle at the end of the flush, but still, in my opinion, this thing could definitely be used on 1.6. I'm gonna go ahead and just flush it with the pressure turned up to how it is, just to see what it does. Here is a flush. So as y'all can see, it kind of siphons near the end, but it doesn't siphon after the flush. But even with the pressure turned mostly up, it has a great flush. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish turning this all the way up and I'll give you all a few more flushes. So I'll do more of like a close up from the rim here just so y'all can see the power of the jets from underneath the rim. And I might be able to show y'all, there's actually just basically a cluster of jets that all point in one direction. That's what causes that big splash of water to come out from the right side of the bowl. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this focus if it even wants to. It's focusing on all the wrong parts. We go ahead and lock it, and here's the flush. And of course it lost focus halfway through that, so I'm gonna go ahead and flush it one more time. So yeah, overall, I definitely like this toilet. I'm glad to have two of them, and I definitely will not be getting rid of them unless something happens and they break. But even then, just because it's so cool, I might still keep it or I'd do a dissection video. But again, that's if something happens to these. Because they're in great shape, I will try to keep them as, uh, as in pristine condition as possible. So yeah, really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, leave y'all's comments down below, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.